are there any final thoughts or anything else you guys think that our asthmaology community should know so that they can make informed decisions? Again, acknowledging that it's really early and that everything's kind of evolving, but just wanted to open the floor there. Well, I, I do want to say one thing is I, I want people to realize the vaccine, I mean, we've sort of put the vaccine on this pedestal that this was going to be the holy grail that when the vaccine came out, the pandemic would end the next day. Mm -hmm. And, and that is not going to happen. And the vaccine is going to get out and, 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 and we are still going to have the virus floating around and we're still going to have people being hospitalized and we're still going to have people dying. I, I think it's important to remember that mask wearing, washing your hands, physically distancing is critically important and will remain important even after the vaccine comes out, even after everyone is getting vaccinated. Um, because these vaccines only reduce the transmission of the, of the disease they don't make it go away. And we still need all of the public health pieces, which we have not done very well at in this country, but we still need them uh, in place to help get us through what's left of this pandemic. So uh, we're, we're, there's light at the end of the tunnel, but it's not a bright light yet. And I think people need to keep remembering that, that this is not gonna end that quickly. Yeah. Um, and I, I, would, I would add in that, you know, we have learned so much about allergic conditions uh, and as board certified allergist and immunologists, we really specialize and quite frankly, enjoy uh, the nuances involved. Um, you are each individuals. Um, and just because you have the same diagnosis as somebody else, it, it may be in completely different management strategies. So uh, we, I think we need to embrace the individualized nature of um, all of these different chronic conditions. And uh, as all of this evolves in regards to the vaccine risk factors and, and that, like Dr. Greenhut said, well, that's what we specialize in. We can find a way to get this done. Um, so hang tight. Uh, things will change. I promise you. <laughs> things will change. So just stay tuned. And then as always, um, talk to your personal allergist, your personal doctor, if you have specific medical questions pertaining to your care. Uh, and be careful what you read online. Yeah, I, I echo everything both, 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 both Dr. Steve and Dr. Grayson said. I, I mean, I think Look, there, there are definitely going to be limitations of vaccines, just like everything. Nothing works 100%. Nothing's probably going to work 95% uh, of the time in all populations. Uh, you know, if we get to 60% of the time, it works all the time. That would be fantastic too. But, uh, you, know, um, you know, so keep wearing your mask, keep distancing, realize that this vaccine is designed to stop infection from getting into your body and will do nothing to prevent it from being transmitted elsewhere. Um, you know, options are good and that, yes, our job is to figure out a way to get something into you safely that your body may not tolerate. Um, and we're very good at treating reactions or hedging the risk or whatnot. And, you know, we'll, we'll get to work on that if this proves what needs to be done. We've done it before. Um, there's just, there's no reason to deny somebody a vaccine that they want because of an allergic condition. We, we, can, we can do better for our patients than that. And I think that that's the important thing. That, that was a strratege that we took a long time ago. We used to contraindicate and you know, it, we can just evolve around that. And I think we have um, the lessons taught with, with the flu vaccine in the last pandemic and everything like that. I mean, it's gone um, very, very quickly. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're taking different attitudes about ways to, to challenge and to figure things out and, and you know, we, we will make it work for you. Um, but, you know, I think it's very important that everybody who can, and even some of you who don't want to get this vaccine because that's how you get herd immunity. This is now we can talk about herd immunity. Um, you give somebody the vaccine, you put the immunity into them and then the community is protected. And, um, you know, everybody needs to get it because there will be some people who can't or won't or don't.